Hello, welcome to another Mario Kart 8 custom track tutorial. Uh, today's episode should be a quick one. We're going to be covering how to update the UI in the game to have the correct name for our track, as well as, of course, preview image. Now, uh, this episode is going to cover the Wii U. Uh, in the interest of making some shorter videos, I'm going to be splitting out the Wii U and the Switch ones into separate videos. So this is only going to be for Wii U. So first things first, we actually need to do some setup uh, for Track Studio before we get into actually making the mod. Um, so you're going to want to go to your game dump, and you're going to want to go into the, your updates folder for Mario Kart 8, not the game folder that we've been working with previously getting course data from. Uh, this is because the UI uh, got updated for the DLC, and so the DLC information is in the updates folder. Uh, right then, so we're basically just going to copy this UI folder, uh, and then I have a folder that I have created uh, called, not there, uh, UI Mods, and then the Wii U, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this UI folder in here. Uh, we technically only needed a couple of files out of this folder, um, however, uh, because a lot of different mods have to work with the same files for the UI, I like keeping the whole UI folder in here, just in case something else needs to get updated. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and launch Track Studio now. Uh, and we're going to go in and we're going to open up our tutorial track. Uh, so... Here's our tutorial track, of course, uh, but before we do anything, I'm going to go up and click the UI Editor tab up top. Uh, and technically I've already done this because, spoiler, I technically already recorded this entire tutorial and then the recording got corrupted. So uh, this is actually my second go around on here. Uh, and I'm probably going to fail just as much as I did the first time. But anyways, we're going to go into the UI mods and set it to this Wii U folder, and there we go. Um, now on here, you're going to see an option, a drop-down called Track. Uh, this is a list of, as you might expect, every track in the game by its file name. Uh, it is, I believe, arranged in order that they are in the game. So obviously this is Mario Kart, this is Mario Kart Stadium, Water Park, Sweet Sweet Canyon, and so on. Uh, so we've been working with Mario Kart Stadium, so I'm going to go ahead and click on GU first circuit, and here we see the Mario Kart Stadium uh, preview image. Uh, we're going to go ahead and export that, uh, and I'm going to put it in this folder. Uh, I'm going to save over my failure from last time. <laughs> uh, right then, so we've already exported that image, uh, and now... We're going to need to replace it with our own image, but first, we're going to have to actually take that image. Uh, now, there's a quick and easy way to do this, which is the way that I always do it. Uh, and then if you want to have it more accurate with game lighting, you could probably do it a different way. Um, but the quick and easy way is to just take our screenshot here in Track Studio, since it kind of mimics the game lighting. Uh, you're going to want to turn off several of the map objects. Uh, the sky box we're going to want to leave on, but like things like the start and the water box, you're going to want to turn off. You're probably also going to want to turn off item boxes because the way Track Studio is, they're kind of clipping into the ground, so it looks bad. Uh, admittedly, I always forget to do this. Uh, actually, coins are kind of the same way, so we'll just go ahead and turn all those off as well. Okay, and then obviously we're going to want to leave trees and uh, the skybox. Uh, but before we take our picture, you're going to see this little white circle uh, in Track Studio. Uh, I actually didn't realize this until a couple days ago, but we can actually move that by holding Shift and then just clicking somewhere else outside of our camera view. Uh, and so now it's not going to be in our uh, finished course preview. Or at least it won't be if I can actually position the camera correctly. Okay, so here we have the thing. So now all I'm really going to do is just open up uh, Snip and Sketch or the Snipping tool in Windows. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click New here. Uh, and then I'm really just going to take a quick screenshot. 
and there we go. Uh, that should be fine. I'll go ahead and just save it to there. Right. Uh, so yeah, we've already got our screenshot here. Uh, so now all we really need to do is open up an image editor. Uh, and in an image editor, uh, I will just open the uh, image that we actually, no, I'm not going to want to open this one first. I'm actually going to want to open uh, the one we exported first. Uh, let me just pull that up and. Here we go. So here we have the Mario Kart Stadium uh, image exported. And I'm just going to drag in the screenshot we just took. Uh, I'm going to scale it down using the scale tool here. Uh, if you hold control in GIMP, uh, that will maintain the aspect ratio. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, go ahead and move it up. Well, it's like actually the perfect vertical resolution by complete accident. Uh, okay. And then the one last thing we're going to want to do here is uh, cut or make sure it fits this exact aspect ratio. Uh, you're going to uh, actually, we'll just do that first. Uh, uh, just to recap, I used the fuzzy select tool, which is like a magic wand. Uh, if you don't see it in here, uh, GIMP kind of, some newer versions of GIMP kind of tie different options on here together. So if you see this option here, instead you just hold the mouse button and then you switch it to fuzzy select, or you use the U key. Uh, technically, Mario Kart Stadium's course preview actually is not a perfect rectangle. Uh, a few parts bleed out, so we're going to want to delete those parts. Uh, well, actually, I guess that's the only part we're going to delete in this one. And then in the background, I'm just going to fill this with black. And there we go. That's pretty much it for our course preview image. And I'll go ahead and overwrite the track preview. Um, okay. Uh, so uh, that should be the actual image. So back here in track studio, going to click on UI editor. This time I'm going to click replace, and we're going to replace it with my new image. And then we're going to swap in. Uh, we're going to pick the language. Uh, I'm working with the English US version, so that's what I'll pick. Obviously, you just pick whatever language you want. Uh, and then I'll just call it test course, test course, test course. Uh, the main reason there's three different options here, I'll go ahead and click save up here. Uh, take note of which files it's editing. Uh, in fact, I recommend before I even close this dialog, I'm going to go into this UI mods folder. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy the file that it mentions. And then I will go into my uh, CMU mods folder and then go into wherever it is. Uh, technically, as I said before, I technically already recorded this episode before, so these folders already exist, but if they don't, you're going to want to create a folder inside of your graphic pack outside of the course folder called UI, uh, one folder called CMN, uh, one folder, uh, this folder will match, uh, your language, so this is US English, basically just match this file path here, uh, and then we're going to paste this in here uh, and then we're going to click OK on that and then it should pop up here. That's the other file that we're going to need to copy over um, which is in the UI CMN folder or basically for common and then it's this menu.scs. Uh, and then that is it for the Wii U version. Um, I'm going to boot into the game, and we will see what's up. All right, uh, so here we are in game, and as you can see, our course is now called Test Course. 
uh, which is what we had. It's got our life's preview image. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, the one thing I would recommend, uh, just to verify that we had grabbed the correct UI file before, is just hover over the uh, DLC cups and make sure they all have their proper names and everything. Uh, you'll know if you accidentally grabbed your... Uh, You'll know if you've accidentally grabbed the UI file outside from the games folder, not the update folder, because all these course titles will just be blank. Uh, and then, like, Link will also uh, not have a name or none of these characters will. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I remembered one last thing I wanted to cover before I closed out the tutorial. Um, so, when it comes to actually distributing your mod, I actually don't recommend you distribute the UI files that we just worked with, this common.msbt and this menu.scs. Uh, I instead recommend you include some instructions on how to uh, edit those um, and uh, just include your course preview image. Uh, reason being, basically these are files that are shared they're, they're base files in the game. They aren't track specific, which means that if you're installing a bunch of different custom track mods and they all have their own UI files, they're going to contradict each other. And in the end, only one of them is really going to win out. And so only one of them is going to have the actual correct text and pictures. So that's why I tend to just include the image file. Uh, and then I say just basically deal with it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um... That's just my recommendation. You could do whatever you want. Uh, maybe you can include them with a note basically saying, hey, uh, basically be careful. Maybe just include the image as well as these and then include these as like an optional file to work with. Uh, that's just one last thing I wanted to mention. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.